Hi, welcome back. This video is going to show you how to create reports using the Woodcock Johnson scoring platform. So before you set up or create any report, you want to set your report options. So for this, you can choose the confidence intervals that you wish to display on your report. And you do this by going to the reports tab, report options and the Woodcock Johnson 4. So we click on that. And you can see here, you can select your scoring options. So here I'm just going to, I suggest you leave everything up here as it is. And down here, you can select your confidence band, 68%, 90, 95. We would always suggest you use 95% confidence interval. And of course, if you don't want any identifying information on your report, you can choose use an ID in place of a name. Just simply check this box and that'll be your default. Okay. So when you want to create a report, you there are two ways that you can do this. From the reports tab, you can go to create report or from your dashboard, you can select the folder that your examinee is in. So for example, we'll choose 2019 assessments. And in 2019 assessments, we have Joe Blogs. You can simply click on the name Joe Blogs click into the report, you can see we've created a Woodcock Johnson test of achievement. This is going to show you all of your test data. So you can edit this if needs be. But if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see you can click run report. We'll click it from here, we'll click run report. Okay, and you can see this brings you to the report screen and everything is pre filled in for you. So we've got a Woodcock Johnson four for Joe Blogs, and it's our Woodcock Johnson Tests of Achievement. Now there are a number of different reports that you can choose from. If you click the drop down arrow here, you can choose to have a parent report, a profile report, a roster report, and a score report. So for this example, we're going to simply choose score report, which will do as it says and spit you out the scores for Joe Blogs. On score selection template, in here, you can select your own template for the scores to be produced. So that is, you can choose what you, what you want to appear on the score selection template. So here, if we choose new score selection template, add template, here you can choose what you wish to appear. So we'll call this um, testing example. And on our testing example template, um, I don't want to see the W score. I want to see a percentile rank. I want to see a relative proficiency index. I want to see a standard score. Um, and I want to see a stay nine. So if we click shared template, this template will share with all of the examiners that we have in our system. So we'll click it as a shared template and save. Okay, you want to leave everything else. So leave everything in here. You can choose to list your tests in numerical order or list them under clusters. We'll leave them in numerical order and select your output. We'll select it as a PDF and run report. If you click save to my reports, the report will save to your desktop, the desktop on your scoring platform. So we'll click run report. And you'll see the PDF pops up down here in the corner. So if we open up the PDF, okay, here we have our score report. Joe Blogs, date of birth, age, male, date of testing. And it's given us the tests. So up here in capital letters, these are the clusters. So remember a cluster is a group of tests um, where the aggregate, so the basic reading skills, if you look inside the Woodcock Johnson manual, it'll tell you that the basic reading skills is a combination of some of the word reading tests down here. And the tests written in lowercase letters are the subtests that you use. So here we've used one, two, three, four, five different subtests. AE is age equivalent. So letter word identification, eight years, 11 months. The RPI, the relative proficiency index is 12 out of 90. The standard score is 72, 95% confidence band percentile rank and the stay nine. Okay, if we go back to our dashboard, 
click Save to my reports. Report name, we'll call it Joe Blogs number two, and click Save. This will save to the dashboard, as I said, of your online template. Oh, report already exists. Joe Blogs one. And you see Joe Blogs one has saved to our dashboard. Okay, I hope that's helped you. Um, stay tuned for more videos on how to use the scoring platform. Thanks for watching.